Hey everybody, Sam Birch here, and um, what you're looking at is the finished product of the Monkey Bomb. Um, I'm just going to go over a few of the parts that I did while I was working on it and explain a few things. Um, let me go over here. So, right here on the back part is the switches that activates everything. Uh, the reason why it looks like this is because when I was doing all the electrical setup, like I said in the last video, I couldn't get all this to work on one switch. So I had to go to another switch setup, and that's with two switches, which they activate in different ways. If you flick this one, this uh, that switch right there activates the symbol monkey, and uh, this one activates his eyes. And if you switch them, they all turn off. Um, next up is the voice box. I got it to work in the monkey. It's installed into his head. And it comes out right here. This is the voice box. Um, the only problem why the voice box is sitting out here instead of in the box is because I couldn't find a box big enough. I found a bunch of boxes, but we are looking like... Some boxes would be like this tall, this wide, and it didn't work out, but this one worked the best. I sort of took some metallic uh, duct tape and put it around the box to give it that metal look. But um, the switch is right here, so if I hit this... So, um, there's the switch to the monkey, but uh, let me pop the TNT straps come off with the back. So, this makes a uh, repairs or uh, battery replacement because the uh, 9 volt that activates the uh, um, yeah, the 9 volt that activates the lights is stuck back here, so uh, it stays right here for the time being. And, uh, yeah, so there it is. Uh, sometimes I gotta readjust it. There we go. But, um, yeah, so there's 9 volt. I am gonna recommend that when, uh, I get the time, I'm gonna put a better battery. These, uh, cheap little, uh, Panasonic batteries don't last very long. I've had to go through a couple for these. I don't know why they just do not last very long at all. They're really cheap. They just, yeah, they go quick. So, um, yeah, so the TNT strap wires just go behind the monkey. I just stuff them in there so if I have to replace the batteries or anything. So, and you just sort of have to like uh, line up the lid, press it on, and it sticks right there. Uh, for the TNT, I just used Pringle cans and wrapped them up in this uh, red wrapping, like gift wrapping packaging paper. That was what I found. Touched it up with some black paint. I'm going to turn it so you all get a good idea. The little fuses that go to the uh, TNT are just straws that I put white masking tape around to give it that look. Black tape, boom, wire goes in there, glue it. So, um, yeah, this is the whole monkey all together. So, uh, I'm going to activate him real quick and sort of give you guys a visual what he looks like. The hat doesn't stay on right. I'm thinking about maybe later on when I get uh, the time I'm going to put like some Velcro or something on his hat. So, there's the eyes. So there's my monkey entirely done. Uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I am starting a uh, Patreon account because this summer I'm going to try to do more complex video projects. I've been working on my skills 
to make better videos. That's one thing I have why I haven't been producing a lot of like shorts or anything that here a while because I've been really working on trying to get my skills and hone them up a little bit. But um, if you'd like to help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, it'd just be helpful for me to get the props, uh, some of the equipment that I need. Because a lot of this stuff that I do, like when I make these props, I work on some of my videos. It's straight out of my pocket. And unfortunately, sometimes with these props, I have to immediately sell them to recover what I have spent. And that's what kills my budget sometimes with uh, making other videos is I spend a lot of time and money to make these so then I have to go ahead and sell them which I will be selling the monkey until after I get the video that I'm wanting to make with it and then I'm going to sell him because I really want to use him in a video but um, there's a link down below if you'd like to help me out any donation would be nice um, I greatly appreciate it it's one of the struggles of being a kind of a lone wolf YouTuber that I do all my work and sometimes that little extra help gives me the motivation to produce more videos like this. So um, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and have a nice day.